Sri Lankan killer who smashed Swedish teen's skull into 64 pieces freed Sri Lankan president. Maitripala Sirisena has pardoned a death row prisoner who murdered a 19-year-old Swedish girl in 2005. Convicted killer Jude Jayamaha had smashed victim Avon Johnson's skull into 64 pieces after entering into an argument with her. Jayamaha was initially sentenced to 12 years before being sentenced to death by a higher court. Your uncle played cricket in my father's team. Punjab CM to Pak PM during a short bus drive for the inauguration of Kartapur Corridor. Punjab CM Amarinda Singh and Pakistani PM Imran Khan discussed cricket. The CM's office stated, Captain Amarinda told the latter that his uncle, Jahangir Khan had played for Patiala, and was part of the team captained by Captain Amarinda's father. Maharaja Yadav Indra Singh, in 1934-35, for India and for Patiala, father, daughter kidnap and rape woman in the U.S., leave her in desert a father and daughter duo has been charged with kidnapping and raping a woman for a week before leaving her for dead in a desert in California, U.S., the woman, who is in her 40s was found in a disheveled state by military personnel and treated at a hospital. Court documents show that both the accused have prior felony convictions. Baby eaten by dogs after being abandoned in bag by mother in Taiwan Taiwan police have found bones of an abandoned baby boy who they suspect was gnawed to death and eaten by stray dogs. The newborn was stuffed into a plastic bag and deserted in a wasteland by his 19-year-old mother. She is reported to have a mental illness and had been under the care of the local social affairs. Euro, sister of Swedish girl whose murderer was freed writes open letter to SL Prez Caroline Johnson Bradley, sister of Yvonne Johnson whose murderer was pardoned by Sri Lankan President Maitripala Sarisna has written an open letter demanding true reasons behind his decision. I cannot begin to understand how a father of two daughters reached the decision to release this monster, she wrote. The reason, in your public speech in no way justify the pardoning, she added.